Okay, everybody, I'm back, and I am continuing to go through my number three box from Goodwill. This one was from West Virginia, and it uh, was a big batch, which I definitely feel like I stole it for just over 300 bucks. I'm going through the, the first box after the binder that was actually pretty good, and they were all alphabetized rares. Last video I got through A through H. Now we'll continue on with the letter I. And um, I think for the sake of quickness, I'd like to go through and only stop and price check the ones that I think might actually be worth a good amount. And because there's definitely a lot of bulk in here, but there's also quite a few good cards. I'm going to check this one because I'm not sure. Right. Yeah, I just had a little feeling. I think there's a, another printing of that that's that I'm a little more familiar with. Is that from there's a stronghold version of that? This is the kind of stuff I'm running into in this box. Um, and feel free to comment down below if you see something that I clearly missed that was big time. I am going to eventually go through this all and give you guys a running total and show off um, hopefully the stuff that was really good like see Iona Shield of Ameria I will definitely price check that since it's a mythic and it's a not too shabby card and I got two of them so definitely loving this box and um, excited to see everything else that comes out of here too um, see like an iridescent angel so normally I think I probably wouldn't pick look at this one because I think it might be a bulk but maybe I'm wrong yeah I mean it's a buck I'm gonna have to go through all this stuff again but for now I'm just showing it off so Ixador got a couple of these wizard legend yeah see not too nothing big there so just for time's sake, I'm going to try not to really uh, price check everything as I go along. Just the stuff that that I'm pretty sure on. Like so Jareth, I know, has been reprinted in Commander and he's not a whole lot. J-Made Tome, J-Loom Tome, Jandor Saddlebags, I don't think those are much. So Janara, a couple of those, they're Mythics. And um, yeah, they're a little bit. So there's a couple of those. I know a jeweled spirit is is bulk. Not sure about some of this stuff. I don't know. Is that one something? Nah, it wasn't. Nah, that's okay. Just gonna keep at it, right? Yeah, I don't think those were anything. So we are on to the K's and look what's in the top of the K the Kalitas Blood Chief of Gehit and I know that one's gonna be okay sure it's a nine dollar card where Kamal probably is not Karmic Justice whenever a spell or ability an opponent controls destroys a non-creature permanent you control you may destroy a target permanent that opponent controls I don't even that seems like it's kinda situational but hey it's actually pretty decent yeah see I was gonna maybe pass that one by I'm glad I didn't I know that these are probably nothing Corona false god costs all colors and a one yeah it's nothing really big that would count towards my end result of this box anything over 90 cents I'm going to show off or in the total eventually I'm thinking the total is gonna go pretty high for this this box I got about 17,000 cars to go through this is just the first thousand and it's definitely sorted all the rares but I think there's still a lot of good stuff oh boy Knight of the Reliquary how many Knight of the Reliquaries did we just get four so that should be about nine, ten bucks. Ah, oh, they've gone down a little bit, but still, four of them in a row—not too shabby. The Knight of New Alara, I think, might be a buck. 
just under. Not Vine Paladin, not that big of a deal either. Condes Banner, I'm not familiar with. I think I found one of those. Yeah, okay. That one's good. Pull that one. Conda, Lord of whatever that word is, is a couple bucks. This is going to be a slam dunk, you guys. You got a foreign Croson Beast there and a Colossus to go with it. Kusarigama. Is that a good one? A little bit. Loving it. So that was the K's. What letter comes next? I'm not sure. Apparently it's L. Lava Born Muse, I don't think is a big card. Yeah, it's really not. The Grim Lava Mancer, that's the good one. Last word. I don't think so. Lava Lanch, no. Last Stand is a no. These are nothing big. The Lawan Cephalid Empress. I'll check her. Him, it, they, them. Yeah, I did that. Lava Ball Trap. I don't think so. Legacy Weapon. It's a cool card, but I don't think it sees much play, but it's still a buck seventy. This is going to be great. So this is interesting. A Lurgoyf with a... I don't know if you can see that. It's nice to see that right behind there too. But that has a gold uh, Ice Age symbol. That's interesting. So is this like uh, one of the starter sets? Let's see if I can change. There's maybe the Battle Royale box set. It would have its own uh, symbol. This one is strange. I'm going to have to do a little research on this Lurgoyf. I've never seen where the Ice Age set symbol was actually gold. So I don't know. I'll look that one up. Ah, here's a couple of Lilianas and a couple of Lich Lords. This is good stuff. All right, let's see here. Oops, got to reset my Delver. Come on. Liliana Vest, $7.60. Times two. Lich Lord of Onks. I just sold a few of these. They were like nine, ten bucks. Eleven bucks. One, two, three, four, five of those. All right. Loving it. A light wielder paladin. Not so much. Boy. Boy, oh boy. Lightning Reaver, I don't think so. Nah. Living Hive. Oh, there's a Lifeline. That's great. So Living Hive, not really. Lifeline, this is a reserve list card. Um, definitely got a little bit of an issue. So this one's like moderate play with a little crease there. But that one's going up and up lately. Sold a few of those like several months ago for like 10, 11 bucks. Lich's Tomb, I want to say this is nothing. Yeah, I was right. Boy, I don't know about this one. I'm going to check it. Yeah, that's why I don't know about it, I guess. Alright, here we go. Lorthos as a mythic. Might be a buck or two. Yeah, another. Not one of the big mythics. A merfolk, lul mage mentor. A little bit, sure. Got four of them. I'm not sure about a luminarch ascension. Yeah, okay, that was a little better. One, two, three of those. There is some good stuff in here. I don't know about that angel, but I'm going to check this. Lurking Predators. Yep, that was a good check. A couple of those. You guys, this is great. Seriously great. Alright, wow. So now we're into the M's. and it's a, Here's the stack of M's right here. 
Absolutely great. So Mayel, the anima. I know she's not one that gets a whole lot of use, right? So for a buck, not too bad. Uh, Mayel's Aria is better than Mayel herself. Six bucks right there. That's awesome. Mana short, I don't think. Mana plasm, mana play, maze, mana cachet. Let's try that one. Nope. Mana clash, mana bond. During your discard phase, you may choose to put all land cards from your hand into play. If you do, discard the rest of your hand as an enchantment for one green. This seems pretty powerful. And it's a okay card, so that's great. March of the Machines, I don't think so. Wait. Each non-creature artifact is an artifact creature with power and toughness, each equal to its converted mana cost. Maybe that is good. Let's take a look. I guess not. Hey. So I gotta really go through and check these all later. Gins, usually not a big deal. Mark of Asylum. Prevent all non-combat damage that would be dealt to creatures you control as an enchantment that just sits there and has that effect. It's okay, right? Magister Sphinx, probably not. Cyclops, I don't think so. Malakir, Blood Witch, let's take a look. Just a buck. That's alright. I don't think it'll... Whoa, a Maelstrom Nexus. The first spell you play each turn has Cascade. Wow. All right, so I'm going to guess. Is this a $12 card? Oh, it's better than that. <laughs> 20 bucks. That's good. That's really good. Magma Sliver. A couple, four bucks each. Great, 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 great. Oh, look what I just pulled out of there. Oh boy, is there more? Yes, there is. <laughs> okay. We'll get to that in good Oh my gosh, you're kidding me. Four medley mages. Um, yeah, we'll get to that here in just a second. All right, loving this. Hey, that's an uncommon in the rare box. All right, refund. I want a refund on this whole thing. That is unacceptable. Uh, Magma Phoenix. Nope. Magnivore, nope. Master Healer, nope. Mass Admirers, no. Malfagor, man, he looks like he means business right there. He's a mythic, costs a lot. He's a buck. That's that's fine. Marshall Coo, Mass Hysteria, Mesa Enchantress. Those are not too sh not too great. But look what is great: these meddling mages. 27 bucks for the uh, Alara printing and 29 bucks for the plane shift printing. Wow. So that right there almost you know 120 bucks for those four cards. Um, that's that's a third of what I paid for this entire box of 17,000 cards. So, I think I'll put these, where can I line these up so that I can just show them off for the rest of this video. Like this, and like this, and we'll put them down here. Yeah, we'll just leave those hanging out there. Let's see what this is all about. And I've still got the M's to go through. Hey, Mirari, that's a good card, right? We'll get to that. Vampire, Memory, Erosion, Merfolk Sovereign. It's a Merfolk Lord. I think this one seems like it would be a great card. I think I need to reset my Delver real quick. But I think as a Lord, it's not that great. Yep, I was right about that. That's all right. That is all right. Mercadian Atlas. Doesn't sound big. Might of Oaks, no. No, misform stuff. Mind's Eye. Whenever an opponent draws a card, you may pay one. If you do, draw a card. Let's see. Ten bucks each. And there's two of them. 
I am thrilled with this. Mind lock orb players can't search libraries. Is that a thing? It is not a thing. You can search your library all you want. The misbind click as a fairy wizard with flash and a champion as a fairy. Let's see. Ah, hey, that's pretty decent. It's not a Venda Lion click, but it's a misbind click. And it's still pretty decent. Yeah, let me pause right here. Okay, back again. I'll have to stitch that together um, again at work and had to answer a question. So, where was I? Found the meddling mages, went through the millstone, I think, and we were looking at mind break trap, right? Yeah, it's a good trap to have, right? So, I think we we're going to go through this. Mirror Sigil Sergeant, even as a mythic, is not the biggest mythic. It's a couple bucks each, right? So we'll take some of those. Mirror of Fate. I know Minion Reflector is probably nothing, but Mirror of Fate also is nothing. That is how it goes. Mirari from Odyssey. You got three of those. Is really nothing. I think it's Mirari's Wake is actually the money card for that. So we'll just move on. Um, a lot of these are played. Uh, either late play or moderate play, um, which is fine. I've got I'm no stranger to selling late play and moderate play rares. Murderous Betrayal for three black. You can pay two black to pay half your life rounded up and destroy target non-black creature. It can't be regenerated. Seems a little pricey. Yeah, I don't think that sees any play. Michael Loth is a bulk. My Coid Shepherd is a bulk. The Maya Jin of Seeing Winds, I think, is like a buck. 62 and a Myogen of Infinite Rage is about the same. And I didn't get the other Myogens. That's interesting. Because they were probably worth a little bit more. So this box of rares is it's, it's strange. I mean, it, it, you'd think it would all be bulk, but then you get stuff like this and plenty of other good cards. So. I'm uh, I'm puzzled by this collection, such as it is. I, if it was picked at all, it wasn't picked efficiently, so I kind of doubt that it really was. Nature's Will, hey, this is a good card, I think, right? It is. $20 almost. Whenever one or more creatures you control deal combat damage to a player, tap all lands that player controls and untap all lands you control that's pretty solid you can definitely have some control over uh, how that can happen so that's a great card nature's resurgence each player draws a card for each creature card in his or her graveyard I want to say that's been reprinted sometimes and it's nothing big I was right and I'm not sure about some of these nemesis of reason I don't think it's a big money card but it's an okay money card, and we got four of them, five of them, right? Solid. Nimada, Grove Guardian. So I know this card is good because I looked at it before. 13 bucks for one of these, and here's a foreign version. There was even a foil one of these in that binder that came from this collection, and it was like 40 bucks. So solid. New Frontiers, let's look. Yeah, it's not bad. We are making out like a bandit here. Knight of Souls Betrayal. All creatures get minus one, minus one. Let me check. Yeah, it's okay. Knight Dealings, pretty sure that's bulk. So it was a Nightmare. Nightmare Lash. I don't think so. Mm, wow, 10 2 trample for one red and a three. Let's see. It's 
a little bit. Boy, this is going to add up quick. Nut Collector, Squirrel Maker. Yeah, these are okay. Three something each. Uh, Nixithid. And we'll just look quick. Yeah, oh my gosh, this is three, four of those. Solid, solid, you guys. So, uh, running out of time as usual. I'm gonna try to really get through the end of this box. I got O, P, Q, and R looks like left. Um, Oath of Lieges is okay. I don't think that's anything. The obelisk. 99 cents. Sure, I'll pull those out. Hmm. Obstinate familiar. If you would draw a card, you may skip that draw instead. Wow. I wonder what the usage would be on something like that. I can't think that really anyone uses that. Open the vaults. We'll just look. Yeah, a couple bucks. Or, I'm sorry, $1.25. Opposition, tap an untapped creature you control. Tap target artifact creature or land. That seems solid. And some Urza's Destiny. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Overmaster. Mm, pretty sure that's going to be nothing. That's a little slightly better than nothing. That's okay. Overburden. A little even better than nothing. As overlay terrain comes into play, sacrifice all lands you control. Lands you control have add two mana of any one color to your mana pool. Wow. How do you get that out and working for you? Apparently you don't because nobody plays it. Alright, that was O. Let's see here now. Looks like P. Heart the Veil, probably nothing. Yeah. Patron Wizard, this is, I think, a good card now. Yeah, it's better than I thought, actually, so. Loving it. Loving it. All right, I'm just gonna have to kinda go through quickly here, and yeah, I don't know anything about some of these sets of rares. Pentavis I know is nothing. We'll go quickly. Pedantic learning. Now predatory urge I don't think is anything. Peer pressure no. Phyrexian plague lord is a nothing. Phyrexian delver. Oh but Phyrexian arena now. That's a different story. Eight bucks, sure. And we got a plain shift, plain scape. Yeah, yeah. Phage the Untouchable, probably a little hard to play. Still looks cool. Oops. Advertisement there. Planeswalker Scorn, Planar Cleansing, Planar Portal? I don't think so. Planar Overlay. No, I don't think so. Some planar, planar stuff. Plagiarize, not sure. Plunge into Darkness, I know is like three bucks. Oops, hold on. Come on. Yeah. Two ninety nine for sure. One, two of those. Platinum Angel. That's solid. Four bucks. Polymorph. Maybe a buck. Yeah. And we got one, two, three, four, five of those. This is pretty good, you guys. Not sure about these possessed things. A possessed portal costs eight. To play it better be good for eight. Must be okay. It's a buck. No, no, that's the wrong command. 
Puppeteer Click. I think this is a good card. I guess it's an okay card. Psychic Thief. We'll check it. Nah. Psychogenic Probe. Nah. Pyromancer Ascension. Meh. One, two, three, four, five of those. Wow. Just wow. So here's <laughs> here's Q. Big stack of Q. Quarian Dryads. I like that card, but it doesn't it's been reprinted. Quicksilver Elemental. Yeah, 99 cents. Alright, now we're on to R. And right on the top is good old Rafik of the Mini. And how many of these do we have? One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's awesome. Play set of Rafiks. Seven bucks each. Solid. Very solid. Nope. Probably not much there. Ranger Eos, I think is only now like a buck or two. That's yeah, a little better. Three bucks. The Raven Guild Master. It's a wizard. Yeah, it's okay, right? Throw that on there. Radiate. Not sure. Let's see, yeah. One, two bucks. Rampaging Balos, a mythic. It's an okay mythic. Uh, Rebel Arc. I think this sees a lot of play in modern, right? Yeah, it's a, it's a decent card, right? And there's three of them, so Revenant, no. Reshape. Yeah, sacrifice an artifact and search your library for an artifact card with converted mana cost extra less and put it into play. So that's not a bad artifact tutor, right? Yeah. Take a couple of those. Redistribute any number of players' life totals. That could be interesting in Commander, right? But it doesn't get used much, looks like. Relentless Assault, I don't think so. Nope. Mm, retraced Image. Reveal a card in your hand, then put that card into play if it has the same name as a permanent in play. Hmm. I think that's something. I was wrong. Oh, what a fun game that is. All right. This is going to be the last of it because this will be the end of this box. It was a through R, just like promised at the beginning on the top of the box. So hopefully there's something else that's good in here. Honestly, like I've skipped by a lot of stuff that probably was, you know, maybe a buck or two. This rebuking ceremony put two target artifacts on top of their owner's library. See, that doesn't really seem like that big of an issue. So, and I know that one's probably not. Aristic Tutor, I'll just look. Yeah, it's not Aristic Study. Right of Replication, I think might be a buck or two. That's yeah, even better. 456 for one, two, three of those. Riptide Director, you can pay to draw cards for each wizard you control. And it's a $3 card, there's two of them. The Entrancer, I don't think is anything, no. Rising Waters, lands don't untap. And it's a buck. Risky move, it doesn't sound like, yeah, I can already tell. Rowan, reveal the first card you draw each turn. Whenever you reveal a basic land card this way, draw a card. Now look, yeah, no. Yeah, no, all right, so, I'll just kind of check the rest of these and maybe we'll get lucky. 249 for a rot lung reanimator. I don't think those are any. Well, I guess I better look, right? Royal Elemental. It is a buck. Sure. Why not? 
Roar of Reclamation. No. Rumbling Slum, I don't think is anything. A Ruby Leech, probably not. Rule of Law, each player can't play more than one spell each turn. That sounds limiting. It's three bucks, right? Hey, and a Ryu Say the Falling Star is our last card. So that should actually be a okay pull right there. Yeah, it's actually a little less than I thought. So, wow. Boy, I sure did okay in, in this batch, I think. Um, got four meddling mages, some some lich lords, Liliana, bunch of other good stuff, some Rafiks, puppeteer clicks, Phyrexian arenas. It's it's been good here. Oh, sorry for the glare. All right, so this is yep 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 Nemeta, good stuff. So Maelstrom Nexus, we're gonna eventually tell this all up and I think it's gonna be a big number at some point so for now like subscribe share comment do whatever you want down below and thanks for